Okay, so I know the feeling that you get while solving most of the ethics and behavioral sciences questions in step 1. All the answers look and feel exactly the same. You get the feeling that all of the answers can be correct. In this video, I'll share my strategies regarding how to get through such a question and what are the best books and resources for studying ethics for step 1. First, I would like to share a golden tip with you for solving not only ethics questions, but questions of all the other systems as well. Always read the last sentence first. In many questions, the most useful information lies in the last sentence of the question stems and sometimes the rest of the question stem is completely irrelevant. Reading the last sentence first can narrow down the system that is being tested and thus you can save valuable time while solving the question. Second tip for solving ethics questions in particular, be Mother Teresa while solving ethics questions. I know this is confusing but hear me out. While solving any ethical question, Look at all the options carefully and ask yourself, what would Mother Teresa do in this situation? Of course, Mother Teresa will definitely choose the kindest possible outcome for the patient regardless of the situation. She will go out of her way to reassure the patient and apologize even if the situation is not her fault and choose the best possible outcome for the patient even if the patient's relatives cannot make a decision. I assure you, your performance in ethics will drastically improve if you choose to adopt the Mother Teresa model of solving ethical dilemmas. Before we move on to the study resources and books for ethics, can you quickly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and if you have come this far, you might as well like the video. Now, let's discuss the best books and resources for step 1 ethics. The first book for ethics is 100 Cases of Ethics by Conrad Fisher. This is pretty much the gold standard of ethics and it is a must-have book if you want to get an exceptional score in ethics. It's a relatively small book and you can read it from cover to cover in hardly a day. I highly recommend you to get this book and links to buy this book are in the description. Buying this book through the link below will help the channel at no additional cost to you. Lately, step 1 has been changing a lot and there was a serious need for an updated book on ethics that covers the new weirdly styled questions of step 1. That's where a relatively new book Hans Cases comes in. I believe that Hans Cases is one of the most underrated books in step 1 preparation because no one knows about it and it helped me immensely in grasping the most important ethical questions with thorough explanations and examples from real life cases. I highly suggest you buy this book. The link to buy is in the description. Moving on. Once you're done with the basic phase of building up your knowledge, you need to slowly transition to the big gun. That is of course the USMLE first aid for step 1. It is rightly considered the bible for step 1 and it has got all the high yield ethical concepts that you'll need to know by heart in order to ace step 1. If you still haven't bought the first aid, make this the day 1 of your USMLE step 1 prep and buy the first aid using the links in the description. Moving on, once you get a decent grip on first aid, I want you to move on to the absolute resource of step 1, the UWorld question bank. I want you to do the ethical questions in untimed tutor mode and following the Mother Teresa strategy that we already discussed and go really slow if you have to. Take as much time as you need to think it all out and read the whole explanation carefully. This will ensure that you grasp the ethical concept. Don't forget to make manual notes or you will flash cards of the important concepts so that you can revise them later, whatever floats your boat. So to summarize, in the beginner phase, read both 100 cases of ethics by Conrad Fisher as well as Hans cases. Then move on to the USMLE first aid book. Finally, in your advanced phase, do you will questions and supplement them with first aid and your notes. But that's up to you to decide. If you have any questions or any topic that you want me to make a video on, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section. That's it for today guys and I'll see you in the next video.